Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Selenium with Java series, we were looking into the framework designing and how you can run the test cases by using the Docker containers. So we were seeing how we can run our Selenium test cases by using TestNG XML. If I run this one, this will execute locally, right? The same thing if I want to run with Docker's, we have even seen what is the benefit of executing the test cases into the Docker's, all these things we have already learned. Now we have even learned how you can run the Docker container and you can execute the Docker images or Selenium test cases into the container. Now, so uh, we were always going to the uh, your what you call command prompt and you used to execute them, right? Now, there are a couple of uh, limitations are there in the sense, think about, uh, I mean, if you want to run or if you want to give the same code to someone, you have to give these container details as well, like the Docker commands as well. Now the next person wants to use that. Let's say that if you are adding any of the parameters to this one, the other person should need to know about that, right? Or if you're changing the port and all those details. Now to overcome that, we have something called as a Docker Compose. We have already understood the definition in our first session of the Docker introduction. Now, so we will be using the same Docker Compose file to execute our test cases into the containers. Now, and we will see also what are the different steps or syntaxes of the Docker Compose. Okay, so we will be using the same command only, but in a different way. Means we will structureize this one in a YML format. Now, how we have XML, JSON, the same way we have YML format, you can just search in Google YML formatting and you will see all the details about that. It's very easy to understand that, but I will be showing a demo of the Selenium container, how you can write the Docker Compose file to launch the Docker images and then we will use our Selenium framework to execute in that container. Okay. Now the main benefit that I would say is that you don't want to execute the commands by typing or copy pasting into the terminal. It, now the Docker Compose file will become part of your framework only. So anything that you want to update in that you can just update and you can do use it the source code management tool. You can use the uh, what do you call git to pull or push the changes and also you can keep it as a centralized repository so anyone in your team can just use that without copy pasting the commands that's again another benefit of that okay so now let's keep this handy actually because the same things we will try to portray this one into the docker compose now selenium itself will give you an option or it is giving you one example of the docker compose so let me just show you that so if you see the docker compose will look like this you can see docker compose you can give any name to that but we just for a handy purpose we give docker hyphen compose and then yml is the format now here if you see there are a couple of syntaxes we have to follow that is the yml syntaxes now the first thing is that you need to give the version actually so you can give the version as three and after that you need to give the services now what is happening each task we will be running each docker container syntaxes that will be considered as a service or task so you have to give a headline as a services now you have to give a tab and then each of these commands you have to give like this sequence one by one okay i'll tell you what is the benefit of uh, another benefit that i will tell you when we will be understanding the hub and node concept at this moment just try to understand that there will be a services headline under that you will be giving all the individual docker containers actually now see if i want to run for chrome and firefox i will be executing that into the command prompt right but i have to execute one by one in this sense i will open my terminal one and i will run the docker container for the chrome i'll open another terminal and i will run the firefox container so i have to use individual terminals to kind of uh, what do you call uh, individually docker images if i want to start it now if do, let's say that if you are using the grid that is the hub and node concept now you will be running the hub container then node the node could be more than one right now you have to link this node with your hub as well all these things you have to do in command line 
now with docker compose you can just avoid those linking and then utilizing different uh, terminals for different containers you can just write in sequence here now when you run this docker compose dot up or docker i mean this file basically so it's not always a docker compose i'll say that whatever the file you are mentioning here you have to give that so you have to go to the project folder because you are keeping that file inside the project folder right so you have to go to the directory then you have to say this file name space up up now what will do it will run all of these commands line by line and you don't need to link as well also so that linking will be we will be writing inside this only now let's try to understand the concept actually here now don't worry about this hub and node concept at this moment we are just using the standalone only so let me show you that so you have to give the services then give the name of your container after that you have to give the image image in the sense if you go to the this is your image basically so this is your image this entire one so in the image you need to give this one actually now shm size as you can see here we are giving the same thing you need to give here as well depends on just forget at this moment we are not dealing with that environment don't worry about that i will let you know about that as well at this moment we will be looking into there is something called as ports first let me let me write that one by one so i will right click on my project any project that you are working on you say new file and you give the name as docker and then you say hyphen compose okay i'll say this one standalone for now dot yml okay now you have to give let me add it to the gate now at this moment let me copy paste for my chrome or firefox anything that i am going to add it so here let me add it you can give 3.8 or 3 anything is fine now you can see the image which we were using in our previous session if you see into this it is the selenium standalone chrome right that is what i am assigning here give some host name to this privilege is true you can just give as true shm size this is basically this host size uh, to share the shared host memory actually this one so you just give as two gigabytes then we have these two ports right one is for your like the standalone where it is running and second one is your the uh, vnc viewer right so that is what i'm giving here so here you can see hyphen p hyphen p i'm writing here i'm writing as an array actually so whenever any port if you want to give multiple ports you can write like this like a list wise so this will treat as ports and then this is one value this is the second value of this port like that you need to understand yourself and it is basic key value fair like how we are using in json right so this is again becoming more popular these days this yml file especially for your ci cd pipelines okay fine so we are good actually with that so whatever we were running in this docker container into the command prompt we are doing that into this yml file i'm done with this now second thing is that let me quickly turn on my docker so my docker engine is starting let it uh, start yes so my docker is ready now the docker daemon is running on the back uh, back end actually now second thing is that i told you we don't want to open my terminal rather what i will do in this terminal what i'm going to do i'll type the name of that so docker compose and i will say hyphen f and i will give the name of that docker compose actually so here and then i will say up actually so you can see docker compose is your command after that hyphen f and you have to give a specific file actually that you want to run because you might have multiple yml files right maybe for one for chrome one for firefox or maybe a hub and node concept so multiple files you can keep it now if i run this one now you can see so you can see the selenium standalone is started with 4.1.1 and if i go to that server that is localhost and you can see it is actually 441 actually i have given uh, let me go to that so here 
and as you can see it is the chrome container actually see you can give any port actually not a problem here i have given 441 so that that's why it is running into this okay so the server is running and then if you see it is running on 441 there is a slight change that i need to do i need to go here and here the hub actually i have kept it as 444 right now i have to make it as one because this local host should match to this one actually then only the linking will happen now what i'm going to do i can go to my terminal and here i will say mbn test now to if you want to see that you can just come back here And as you can see in the VNC viewer, you are seeing the Chrome browser is running and this is inside your container actually. You are not re running it into your local machine. And if you go here as well, you will see that Chrome browser is running on your Linux operating system like that. And then you can see the container is now gone because there is nothing is left now. And if you go to this run, not here, sorry. So if you go to this terminal, you will see one pass. Okay, so th this is my Chrome browser, right? Now think about I want to run on the Firefox browser. What you can do, you can just copy paste it. And then you paste here. Okay, the intention is not correct. Let me do it properly. And I will say Firefox. Okay, and here I need to give the Firefox one and then this one give it as Firefox. Now here, so the thing is that I don't want to keep the same name because see, now if I'm running this file, it will be running on the same host, right? Because on my local host only, both the containers will run. I cannot assign the same IP, I mean same port actually to both of this. I have to change the port. So each device or each um, what you call VM that is connecting to your machine should have their own port numbers. I can have 4444 as my host port actually, but this is my Docker port. So here I can give as two actually here. Now the same thing VNC viewer also, it should be something else actually. I cannot give the same port. If I'm running only Firefox, then I have that liberty, any port I can assign it. But if you're running multiple containers, and when hub, hub and node concept also, you have to make sure that this left hand side ports should be unique always for each of these containers. Else it will throw an error by saying port is already used. Okay, fine. So for this, what I'm going to do in this terminal, I will say control C because I have to end the Docker actually. So for this, I'll say Docker PS. Now you can see there is no Docker running before this individual docker was running right now i have two dockers i'm not linking if you see here these two docker containers are very much independent of each other so the only benefit that i'm getting here is that with one command i can run both of these containers so that i don't want to copy paste individual into each of the terminal to start these two containers so what i'm going to do here docker the same command only now docker compose hyphen f and docker compose hyphen standalone dot yml space up up means it will download if the image is not present in your docker engine and if it is present then it will start running them as simple as that now let me run this one okay so before running what we need to do before executing my test cases how it is 441 right the same thing let me check it if the firefox is on the 442 or not so for this you can see this is still running on the 44 right i have to make it as a 2 now at this moment let's go to this and let's see 441 and as you can see it is running on the chrome now let me open another local host with a different port that is 2 now this is my Firefox, so you can see this is my Chrome and this is my Firefox here. And the VNC viewer also will be changing. So this is my 7900, this is my first VNC because for each container there will be a different and the password is a secret. The same thing, let's open another, uh, what do you call, the port or VNC, this is 7901. And the same thing, now let's go to this and let's keep it as a secret. 
okay so i have two different uh, what you call vncs are there okay one two fine now let me do one thing actually now let me run the same test case only so for this what i'm going to do i have to go to this let me clear everything and here i will say maven test okay so in this case what is going to happen you know i have two contain uh, two containers but here i am executing maven test and then so this will run in chrome browser now another one i need to run it in firefox actually so first let me run this in chrome browser so though two containers are running here let me show you that if the firefox uh, chrome is running or not so for this this is my chrome you can see it is chrome 99 Firefox is not running at this moment. It's just staying as it is only. Now what I can do, I can use another window or maybe let me just let it complete actually first. I'm not running in parallel actually at this moment. Sequential I'm running. Okay, I'm clearing it. Now this time I will be running in Firefox browser. So for this D browser equal to Firefox. I already told how to execute the same framework in multiple browsers by taking the parameters. You can watch my previous video to understand more about this. So now let me run this. Now you can see this is my VNC for the Firefox. Now at this moment it should run with Firefox browser. And as you can see it's running into the Firefox now. And this is again another container actually which is on 7901 like this so now i'm not running the docker containers individually into the terminal i'm just executing my framework or my selenium test cases by using the terminal so now as you can see this docker compose useful so in one command uh, just the docker compose uh, you can run both of these test cases actually so that's the beauty of uh, using the docker compose even what you can do when you're running this now you have chrome container and firefox both are running on your machine right at the same time what you can do you can even use the parallelization and you can execute them as well so the same test cases at the same time in two containers you can run it at this moment i have run it in sequential right you can use the test ng parameterization concept and you can utilize that so uh, that's pretty much it for today. Now, hopefully you will you got an idea what is docker compose how to give the details But stay tuned. We will be seeing some more interesting topics on this docker container Like how to run in parallel into the containers and then how you can use the hub and node concept also So at this moment if you see I'm not uh, creating any hub container and then there will be a node like hub and then chrome node and then firefox node edge node all these three nodes i need to link it to the hub actually so those things i'm not doing because it is purely onto the standalone it is running which the hub and node is on the same container only okay so stay tuned and do subscribe we will be seeing some more interesting topics in our upcoming sessions thank you for watching